Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, better known as ADHD, is a common condition that millions across the globe face daily. But there's now a shortage of the medicine for patients. In our Health Watch today, Chris Ledeen is with a health professional to help us better understand the issue. That's right, Lauren. We have Dr. Joel Young here with us. Thanks a lot for coming in this morning. Really appreciate pleasure. that. Now, before we get into the shortages of the ADHD medicine, why don't you tell us some telltale signs of ADHD? ADHD is a prevalent disorder. It affects 11 million adults, about 6 million children. It's a pretty unpleasant and debilitating disorder. It's characterized by problems of inattention, distractibility, and impulsivity. Younger people tend to be rather hyperactive, but that tends to diminish with age. Yeah, and medication is a key part of helping people with ADHD. Why is there this shortage? There is a shortage, and the shortage doesn't seem to be going away. It seems to be a very complicated problem involving conflicts between the DEA, the FDA, insurance companies, um, and it's really leaving patients in a bind. In my practice in Rochester Hills, we're having a really hard time helping our patients find medicines, but there are some tricks that we've learned. All right, well, let's talk about those alternatives, whether it be other medicines or uh, tricks to help people maintain their calmness. Why don't you tell us about those? Well, there are some meds that people know well about, uh, Adderall and Concerta are, they've been around really for about 20 years or so. But for some very complicated reason, they're just not there. Vivance is another. Um, but there are other medicines that are available. They're brand name medicines and uh, they are not um, in short supply. The problem is you have to ask your insurance company. So if you can't get some of the generic medicines, the brand name medicines, one example is a Corium product called the Staris, and it's available. You just have to contact your insurance company for them to allow and pre-authorize meds like the Staris, which are long-acting uh, me medicines. Yeah, let's talk about the prevalence of ADHD. It seems like it's getting more prevalent in society. Is that because kind of detection methods are better or is it actually becoming uh, more widespread? No, I don't think it's more widespread. I think people are more aware of it. I think social media has made things more aware of it. And what's very interesting is that people in the past who were otherwise treated for depression or anxiety, when they're, when they're really analyzed and examined um, and accurately diagnosed, they have high rates of ADHD. So people have been treated, but we, you have to make sure your diagnosis is correct, particularly in adults. Um, often ADHD is not considered in adults, but if you are having trouble with anxiety, depression, fatigue, ask your doctor about ADHD. And there's some really good ways of getting uh, ADHD diagnosed these days. Yeah, so definitely see your doctor, ask questions about it. Doctor, thanks a lot for coming in this morning. Really it's my pleasure. That.